Hey everybody, Excalibur here, and I've got an unboxing for you again, another one, yeah. Um, this came a lot earlier than I thought it was supposed to come out in December of 2017, but I get it a month early, it's awesome. This is another Kickstarter, and I ripped it open because I didn't know what the heck was going on. And inside this manila envelope, I find this. We have Egyptian Architects by Alex Harding. It was a Kickstarter. You can find the link in the description as always. And it's a it's it's a hand management game uh, where you like. I think you're doing drafting and trying to pick cards out of the draft in order to build pyramids. So that's pretty much what it is. On the back, you can see we have a uh, gather your idols and prepare your workers. It's time to construct a monument to your pharaoh. In Egyptian architects, players compete to prove who is the greatest architect in the Nile Valley by playing cards to construct holy shrines and lay the bricks of the mighty pyramids. But only one will rise triumphant and receive the blessing of the gods. That's two to five players, eight plus years old, 20 to 30 minutes, and Ash Boar Games. And that link will be down in the description as well. So it came in the mail, and this tuck box is a little dinged up from shipping. So even though it came in like a bubble envelope, you might want to ship them in boxes going forward if you can afford it there is no wrap at all on this and uh okay the box is made to bend slightly there we go inside the box we have some cards and some rules so let's take a look at the rules first and the rules are two pages front and back and it explains what everything is. Tells you how many players to deal. Um, and how big the hand is. And all that other stuff. And it explains uh, hieroglyphics. Score of the points indicated in the card when played. So you see here you've got some hieroglyphics. And it shows points down there. So I haven't played the game. I saw it. I liked the concept. And I backed it. And it looks like. There are a few cards that are showing layout layouts. There's only four that I see here. Um, I, I'm seeing. Okay, so let's let's start with the Sphinx. So we have the Sphinx here, and then we've got some pyramids, and then there's a white border pyramid. So I'm not sure what these are used for. Um, I think they may be used for. Uh, here oh place the pyramid plan card with the white border in the middle of the table and then you're trying to build that pyramid and some other stuff okay they show the layout of the cards to be played to form a pyramid while the plan is played the player scores the architect points when a pyramid is completed by playing all needed limestone blocks the player playing the least the last block scores the foreman points so, it looks like there's a, a semi-complicated scoring mechanism. But let's go ahead. You've seen the backs of the cards. They're all pretty much the same. Uh, the design is pretty straightforward. It's very minimal. And then we've got, like, these dogs and birds. And they're pretty much just prettied up versions of hieroglyphics. Um, almost as if a hieroglyphic uh, font was used. And then colored in for the card. So I'm not going to show you all the powers, but I'll show you an example of each of the cards. So there's a hieroglyphics card. And there you go. We get a sarcophagus, complete with mummy. And then we've got a chaise lounge. Now, probably another sarcophagus. With a, a pretty thing for it to lay on. We get workers. So there we go. And we get a single worker. And there are a lot of single workers. And then we get some sleds. That are pulling the limestone blocks. 
And I think that's it. So these cards, yep, that's it. These cards are all used to try and build the pyramid. And if we take a look, we'll take a look at the, the white bordered one here. So you can see uh, we have a pyramid with all these different spaces here. We've got a mummy sarcophagus is number one right here. And then we've got idols at two. And then hieroglyphics at three. And then that'll finish it off. And these, I believe, are limestone blocks, which are these guys here. So I'll have to take a look at the rules, but it looks like a pretty fast game. There was surprisingly very little to the game other than the deck of cards. And I'll have to try it out as a filler one of these days, either a Friday or a Sunday. And we'll have to see. So stuff that we looked at. We can definitely see there's the mummy in the sarcophagus, the pyramid plans, yep, and the limestone blocks right here, the idols over here, and then workers, and then the hieroglyphics. So it's, it goes through and explains, and it explains the construction phase and scoring and everything. So it all fits neatly within this tuck box. I, I can't say that I'm surprised, though I will have to say in the future... Um, Alex, when you when you do send something like this, make sure that it's cellophane wrapped so that the cards are protected in case the package gets wet. Otherwise, you're going to have to send out more copies, which sometimes you can't really do with Kickstarter because you can't get enough copies for extras. I would also suggest sending it in something that doesn't allow the, the game to get all bent up and dented. But for the most part, for a low-cost game, this is this is fine. I've seen worse damage games and scratch and dent for more than this so uh in the interest of disclosure i backed this with my own funds i was not given this as a review copy the the opinions and views in this are my own oh and the card size if you decide you want to sleeve these and you can i believe they they're standard because they feel standard to me in my hand that's 88 long and we're looking at 63.5. Yep, these are just standard playing cards. And here's like a, a Pokemon code card. And if I put it right next to there, you can see they're the same size. So you can use any type of sleeve that handles magic cards with these. That's pretty much the long and the short of it. So this has been an unboxing of Egyptian Architects by Alex Harding, found on Kickstarter. And it does not look like there is a way to order more. You might want to send him a message on Kickstarter using the link below to see if he has any more if you're interested in this game. So, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. This has been Excalibur, and I am out.